welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here my name is Brie I love anything makeup and today we're gonna be playing with the new Too Faced pumpkin spice palette so this is what the Too Faced pumpkin spice packaging looks like this year it is super cute I love how we have this kind of ombre effect down here really adorable this is just what the palette looks like this year we have 18 shades we have some shimmers we have some mattes really really soft really gorgeous colors especially for fall the palette does have a mirror which i really like it's perfect for on the go if you don't want to bring a separate mirror so i'm going to quickly swatch these shades so you can see them i also am going to post the picture of the swatches that i put on my instagram are going to show up but those are just some quick swatches of the palette so I did swatch those without any base or any setting spray so that is the palette all by itself the palette smells so good it actually smells like pumpkin spice it's not too overpowering for those of you who aren't big into fragrance I don't think this would bother you too much so it is limited edition and it's priced at $49 which is pretty steep but if you are like a palette collector like me, I definitely feel like it's worth it. And you can definitely wear these shades throughout the year. I don't think this is just for fall. I think this will work really well for spring and summer too. So I did get this year's limited edition matte lip as well. This is the pumpkin spice shade. Packaging is super adorable. It has like pies on the end of it. And it's a soft orange shade. So this is a swatch of the color I did. I don't think the color is for me personally, which is why I didn't pair this with this look. Um, it's just not my favorite shade of orange, but it is really pretty. It swatched really nicely. So you guys tell me if you like this color for yourself or if you would rather pass on the lip. So the lip retails for $22. All right, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then let's just get to it. I'm going to be taking this purple shade. It is the Spice of Life. And we're going to go right above the crease. We're going to be creating a fun cut crease look today. I'm just taking this Color Noir S22 brush and I'm just going to dip lightly into this Spice of a Life shade. So I ended up getting these e.l.f. strips. I got them in a pack of 40, which is awesome. It's only like three or four bucks and I got these at Ulta. So you can do like your cat eyes with this or just use it to create like a really nice precise line and look so i picked these up i thought it was a really great deal okay so yeah now we're gonna just pack that purple above the crease My eye base today is this clean canvas base. This is from Gerard Cosmetics. I love this stuff so much. She used to have a medium shade and it was way too dark for me, so she came out with the fair. And it actually is perfect because I like them a little, like my, I like my base a little lighter. So I will put my code. I do have a discount code. I'll put it somewhere in this video if you guys want to use that. It will help me as well, but it'll also help you save some money off of this if you want to try it for yourself. I definitely recommend it. So yeah, just building up that color. Okay, so I cleaned my brush and now we're going to go into the You Spicy shade and we're going to go right over top of the color we just applied, blending it out. It's actually blending pretty nicely, I can't complain. All right, now I'm gonna take the pumpkin spice shade and we're gonna go right above the pink shade that we just applied. I 
my eyebrows look so bad i need to get them like threaded i'm gonna have to go get them threaded tomorrow because they look so bad but i've been trying to grow out the tails so i'm like scared to get them done but i don't know i'll have to ask her and just see if um she can kind of stay clear of the ends so i can grow them but they definitely need to be waxed or or threaded Next, I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base. We're gonna just cut the crease with this bad boy. Okay, so now that the crease is cut, I'm gonna go into the shade PSL and Chill, and we're just gonna pop it on the lid. Ooh, it's so pretty, and I have a broken nail, so this is perfect just to pop it on the lid. This color is so pretty. I'm obsessed. Perfect fall like look, I feel like. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray and I'm spraying a Morphe Jaclyn Hill Flat Shader Brush and then we're just gonna continue to apply that purple shade to the lid. So now I'm just going to go into that Spice of a Life shade and we're just going to deepen the crease. So normally I would take like a gel or a pomade liner but I can't find any of mine anywhere so I'm just going to create a liner with my tattoo liner from KVD Beauty. So I think I like, like the way I create my liners without the tape better, but this will work for now. All right, so I'm gonna go apply some lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just applied some lashes. We just threw on some faux Lily Lashes, faux mink in Miami. Really love these, super pretty, a little, little less fuller than I like normally, but they're still really gorgeous and I'm excited I went with these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my face makeup real quick and then I'll be right back. So I just finished my face and then I threw on a lip. I decided to go with Lime Crimes Salem. Really pretty kind of dark red brown shade. Kind of digging it with this look. So I'm gonna really lightly go into the Pumpkin Spice Yellow shade and we're gonna dust it underneath our eyes on the lower lash line. Going on top of that shade, we're gonna just apply some of the You Spicy shade. So last, I'm gonna go on to that purple pumpkin spice of a life and we're gonna just apply that over top of the colors we just applied. So and next I'm just spraying one of my pencil brushes and we are going to go into the shade Want a Piece of Me. It's a really pretty soft purple and we're going to just pop that in the inner corners of our lids. So now I'm going to take this NYX eye pencil and I'm just going to line my inner lash line. Okay. 
I'm just applying some of my Doll 10 Illegal Eyes Mascara. Really, really like this stuff, really separates. All right, so this is the finished look. Overall, I really like the palette. I feel like all of the colors are really pigmented and really easy to work with. I do really like the color selection this year. There are some greens in there which don't really have like pumpkin spice vibes, but they're definitely fall, um, like leaves, you know what I mean? So I am really excited with this palette this year. So definitely let me know what you guys think of this palette in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until my next one, bye!